Change is coming to Charleston's northeastern peninsula. News News Forest Tucker is live on Morrison Drive in downtown Charleston and Forest Streets. In that area used to be mainly warehouses, but now we are seeing plenty of construction. Fred and Carolyn, good evening. Building sites for developments like Morrison Yard behind me and then the Morris up Morrison Drive are signs of a changing landscape in the northern part of the Charleston Peninsula. Developers getting the green light and building up along Charleston's Morrison Drive. City of Charleston's planning manager says the street's central location is one of its best features. You know, ever since the Cooper River Bridge opened in 2005, it made this area much more accessible um, to Mount Pleasant and, you know, areas east of the Cooper. The difference for Morrison Drive is that the area has more space than the already cramped historic district, which makes it more desirable for bigger builds. Um, and that coupled with the fact that there are some really impressive views of the Cooper River and there's a lot of other development going on up here from a restaurant stand standpoint. Offices, stores, restaurants and apartments all in Morrison Drive's future with developments taking shape. And so you've seen a real boom in office development up here from the Morrison Yard area to the Charleston Tech Center to the Morris development. But not all development will be buildings. Morgan says that the city has zoned parts of the area for public spaces. Um, it has a lot of incentives for creating better green spaces and walking areas and facilities for bicyclists. The Charleston Board of Architectural Review was supposed to decide the fate of the International Longshoremen's Association Hall on North Morrison Drive today. But the applicants who want to demolish that building have deferred to the next BAR meeting. Reporting live in Charleston, Forrest Tucker, Count On Two.